Welcome to Keeper's Two Minute Drill, reviewing week one's top performers while looking ahead to Monday night's matchups. Matt Ryan was head and shoulders above the rest of the quarterback field, throwing for 300 yards and three touchdowns while scoring another on the ground. C.J. Spiller's 56-yard touchdown run and 12 yards per carry gave him the best day of any running back in week one. Adrian Peterson and Arian Foster also had big games, and the Redskins' Alfred Morris had 96 yards and two touchdowns after winning Mike Shanahan's weekly running back roulette. That might even be good enough to guarantee him three or four touches next week. Thanks, Mike. Kevin Ogletree surfaced from nowhere to have the best week of any wide receiver, and the possibility of him filling Laurent Robinson's role from last year makes him this week's hottest waiver claim along with Stephen Hill, who emerged as a fantasy option in this new thing the Jets are trying called offense. Less surprisingly, Julio Jones met the high expectations of fantasy owners with over 100 yards receiving and two scores. Should have been three, but Matt Ryan overthrew an open Jones in the end zone, then ran it in himself on the next play. Selfish jerk. Tight ends. Yep, Jimmy Graham, Gronk, Aaron Hernandez. No surprises there. And your fantasy defense for week one, the Browns, because um, the Eagles have no offensive weapons, apparently. And let's look at the best options for the Monday night games. With Cincy visiting Baltimore, the blue chippers in play are Ray Rice and A.J. Green, plus the Ravens' defense. Though it'll be interesting to see how they perform without all-pro linebacker Terrell Suggs. In the late game, I like Ronnie Brown, Antonio Gates, and muting the TV to not hear Chris Berman say, The Oakland Raiders! Brown, of course, is starting in place of Ryan Matthews, while Gates is healthy for the first time in like three years. It will also be interesting to see if Phillip Rivers can return to form after an off year in 2011. And of course, on the other side of the ball, there's Darren McFadden. Is this the week that he goes down with an injury, or will he wait until week two? I can't wait to find out. That's your Keepers 2 Minute Drill. Enjoy the games, and check SB Nation on Thursday for a full-length episode of Keepers, previewing week two. We'll see you then.